Anyways, yeah, you take off the mi mirror off the driver's side, 10 mil. Gets those three. One, two, three. Unplug your electrical power mirror. I'm switching up to a tow mirror off of GM. Just because, well, if I'm going to be towing a little, I may as well have a nice set of towing mirrors. Extend out and... Nothing wrong with these ones, but what's what's better than seeing a lot more? So, I'll give you an idea of what I did to do it. It doesn't. It's not exactly a factory fit, but it will work pretty good. So I'll give you a, an idea and show you what what I did. All right. So yeah, I got the three bolts loose. Nuts broke the one that came out quick. Wiring. Unhooked, just kind of pull it through, and there. I get it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but kind of pull through the grommet. But I'm just gonna pause it again and just push that through the screwdriver because I'm not gonna be putting power on right now. As you can see, they're they're not non-power, so I'm just going to push that through, and I'll be right back. It's got it just up there. We go. Push it through and pull that through. And there's my factory stock mirror for like a half ton, second gen Dodge. I like it because it's power, but lens is broken. And I mean, I got a couple other mirrors here, but I'd rather, rather just throw a tow mirror on. So I'll show you what I kind of done. As we can see, actually here, you get one of my mirrors here to kind of show you side by side. The bolt pattern, it is quite a bit different so i got the the stock location factory holes on the on the dodge which i will not be able to use so what i did is i just popped this little grommet off it might be stuck to it i think because it's i don't know not too bad i use this as my template so it's carefully carefully remove it it's i guess doesn't really matter now I want to kind of have it all there but do the mirror image because when you when you throw it onto the cab you just mirror it so kind of find a step back here a little bit better grip the camera kind of find the spot where you'd like it this lower spot right here you can't easily get in through the door so i have a hole saw on the drill and i'll just make it easy to get to because these doors are awesome but get a marker just kind of mark the four three locations sorry and kind of find the best spot which will kind of follow the the curve the body line like factory holes are way off it's pretty it's not terrible for the top one kind of works that in my last video like i said that top top screw right there you have like half an inch so basically up and over a little bit but i'll use a template and kind of figure out the best spot for it kind of see how it'll work and go from there So let's see what I can do. So I'm just gonna kind of clean this up a little bit. Make it so that way when I mark it, I can see my marks. I mean, it probably would be easier in the dirt, but no big deal. Kind of clean it up. There we go. But yeah, mirror image it. Get as, you know, I gotta kind of get it as best as structural point as you can. Just kind of, there's the, there's the one hole. You can kind of see it back there. And can, see how everything is way out to lunch just kind of find a spot where it works kind of up down go with it you know it doesn't matter how good you get it. there we go so i'll just get my sharpie mark them out show you from there all right we're back so you can kind of see i got a little sharpie marker right there got the three points so one two three Gets a it's a fair bit of 
structural area. You can see like a, from a sharpie point. I got, I got a fair bit of room, like about a good half an inch there. Same with up here. The passer side, I think when I drilled it, it was pretty well halfway point. So I went up a little higher on the driver's side. Traffic and whatnot on the highway kind of gives them a little more strength. And then this is just all steel. It's good to go. So let's I'll drill out drill these out. I don't know if you guys want to really want to watch that. It's just drilling it. No big deal. I'll kind of show you in the back side how I get to this hole. So I'll drill the first hole and give you an idea. I don't think I can get all the way through because the curve of the door it just doesn't work. No. Anyways, that's that one. And then you get the other three, other two, and then just drill on the back side for. Actually, you don't need to. I'll give you an idea where everything's going to be. The the hole I had just drilled. It is. Just in behind. Sorry for the light. I got nothing to block that. Let's see if I can back up here a little bit of the light. Get a little better angle. This little brace right here. It's just hard to get to that third hole in the back. The other two are going to be nice. One's going to be right there. And then the other one's going to be just up and above. So you get the big opening for the door, uh, mirror here of the door. It's nice. Like I said, I'm just gonna hole saw this spot here, this whole door panel. It all covered all that up. The hole is gonna be there. No big deal. You can throw some the factory foam in there. Uh, don't have any in the dash here. I guess it's falling out. So I'll carry on drilling these last two holes. You can see the other how how they work, and I'll put them on, put the mirror kind of up, and you get an idea. All right, I got the three holes drilled out. This is the one. The two and the third hole, like I said, I hole sawed it, clean it up a little more. It's just not ter terrible. I can get a socket in there, not too bad. I actually got one right here. You can see, it works perfectly. Gets to that third one nicely. Like I, like I say, this bracket here, you can either trim it, hole saw it like I did, which is kind of a butch way to do it, hack way, whatever you want to call it. But this door. This whole truck, really. But this, tr this door, it's just rotten. Not too good. Nothing special. But if you really want to, you can pop the, spe the speaker out. And this gives you a well, six by nine area where you can where you can get your hand in here and just kind of get to that third, that back one hole, hole, bolt or screw, nut in the back of that stud there for the mirror. Can be done. I actually had done it to that mirror right there. But I still hole saw it out just to get the not tight mirror tight to the door. You can see a fair bit of room there. Like here's a three eighths drill bit, just about a whole width between. Lots of lots of strength, especially this one here and this one. I think the majority of the stress is going to be on the front here, kind of the aerodynamic pull on the on the mirror. So I think it's going to be pretty dang good. Let's see if I let's see if I actually got these drilled out nicely. Oh yeah. I gotta go drill out that. Oh here we go. Gotta drill out that lower one yet. Lower two, I guess, but the top one's good. So I'll just kinda get the next couple sized bits up. Drill that out a little bit more and Mount that up and give you guys a looky. All right, let's just get this mirror mounted back on. See if I can. There we go. Kind of just like I said, like I said, it's a spare mirror I had. Another, I hit it my other truck, my '94 Chevy. I hit a deer with it, came up alongside and just folded my mirror against the door. Insurance paid for a whole new set of mirrors and. This piece was long gone, so they had the they couldn't get that piece, so they got a whole set of mirrors, which were probably just as cheap as buying that whole piece right there. And figured, like I say, 
these mirrors will work. I'd rather have a set of two mirrors. Because uh, this one was broken. Oh no, but they're both good. I got two good sets here. The third one, oh yeah, the broken set. It had no glass, no no lens on that one. So, well, I figured I might as well put some two mirrors on this thing. Try them out. Get a good look and see how they work. And I think they're going to work amazing. I've had a couple sets. And I don't mind them on the GM Chevys. But on the Dodge, it's going to look different. But I think it'll work good. And I'll get it all mounted on and bolt it up. And show you what it looks like with the door closed. And go from there. Yeah, like I say, just makes it so much easier to get to that third bolt hole in the back. I can just wing it on with a socket and... Don't have to worry about it dropping down there, fishing your hand in between the door. It just, just makes it so nice to work at. Just be careful. I made it just a certain right size. I probably could have had a couple another size bigger, but this will work good. So yeah, tighten it on. Get a little tighter. I'm just you know, vice grip tightening by hand. So, so I think it's gonna work pretty good. Give you an idea. You like the blind spot. Sorry for the lighting, guys. Gonna try and get a different angle. But yeah, let's get a close up. So yeah, this is the blind spot mirror on the upper portion of the mirror. It's gonna be plenty of view. And on the being on the driver's side, I'll have plenty of blind spot. On the passenger side, it's the same thing. It's a little bit lower than the door line. But I don't know. I think it worked good. It's going to mount on nicely. The gaps aren't too terrible. Once it's tight, there's a little bit of up gap here. I'll show you on the passenger side. Just how how it is. Like a, You could probably move it a little differently. The body line there, it's going to kind of... Because the, the, door, the door line is back further, you can either trim that or just send it. Tighten it down and call it good. But I don't think it's too terrible. You know, like I say, nothing special. Needs a hood, things. Got some issues. Need doors. Needs a cab. Yeah. Just make it work for a little while. Needs a windshield. But we'll try it out in the long run. You know, got a little bit of a gap, but it's really minuscule. You can throw a little bit of silicone there and fill it in if you really wanted to. I'm just going to leave it. Looks good to me. I don't mind it. You know, I think it's going <clears> to <throat> make the truck. You know, good old GM tool mirrors. We're good. You know, be luxury. Good old Cadillac. Luxury. But yeah, I think it actually has the piece in here for that. I do too. I guess I do. I could just clip it back on. You can see it's broken right there. So that's why I got a new got had a new set put on. I'll just you know set that on there like so. Glue the crap out of it, silicone the crap out of it, put some you know weather stripping adhesive or something. Or whatever, something, something that'll make it work good, so it can stay there and kind of give it a little more aerodynamics, because it's gonna be so aerodynamic. But yeah, there you go, a little hackery, but it's gonna work. It's gonna look good. You know, if you like it, you don't like it. I'm just showing what I did. Giving you guys a little help, little tips. Um, like I say, you can, it's pretty well flush right here. I just come on, focus a little better. Sorry for the lighting again. It's pretty well flush with the window. I probably could come forward a little bit. Oops. Come forward just, you know, a quarter inch, an eighth of an inch. And that would probably sit in there a lot better. But with that upper bolt being close. Or far off, I guess. I could make the original one work. But 
it just wouldn't work really nicely and wouldn't look as good as sitting there like so. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know any questions. Like I say, not, this truck's nothing special, so I'm not worried about drilling it in spots and being too upset about hurting it. So, oh, crow season there. Okay, there you go.